everyone, welcome to the second lesson of this week. Um, so we are moving on from Roman numerals to learning to tell the time on an analog clock. But this time um, we are look, using your knowledge of Roman numerals um, combined with your skills of telling time. So let's start the lesson. Um, let me just minimize myself and move myself in the correct place. Right, so today's date is the 12th of May 2020, it's a Tuesday, and the LI is to, to tell the time from an analog clock. Um, now you remember the analog clock is the one that's the circle, the numbers 1 to 12, and a digital one is when you have the numbers, like my, my Fitbit is a digital clock for numbers. Um, so today's lesson, you're going to need a pencil, um, some paper, and a ruler, and a ruler is super important, so that when you're drawing the hand of the clock in, um, just to make sure you use a ruler so it's absolutely accurate. Right, so let's go on to our first page, which as we know is number talk, which is just, just to practice your skills um, that you've learned over the week or yesterday, um, just to refresh your memory. So here we go. Here I have some Roman numerals. And the question I'm asking you is, what Roman numeral will come next in this sequence? Explain. So what I want you to do is pause the video and tell me which Roman numeral comes here. Um, so pause the video and, and have a go. Right, so hopefully what you would have done is you would have first worked out what these Roman numerals stand for. So this one is a three. This one, this number here, is the, the V and the I, which is six. And this number here is the I before the X, which means it's nine. So, so far in our number sequence, we have three, six, nine. Now, do these numbers look familiar to you in that order? Where do they come from? Hopefully you would have worked out the three times table. So what's the next number in the three times table? Three, six, nine, and it is 12. How do you write 12 um, using Roman numerals? It's the X and two I's. So if you got that right, well done, excellent. Let's move on. So our key vocabulary today um, is Roman numeral minute, hour, a quarter to, a quarter past, and a half past. Um, so you need to remember this vocabulary um, and also be aware that you're using it a lot in this lesson today. So today we're learning to tell the time on an analog clock with Roman numerals. As I explained, the clock numbers 1 to 12, the numbers 1 to 12 um, will be in the form of Roman numerals, not numbers, but I'm going to get the end of the lesson. So just to start off with and refresh your memory, take some time now to either talk about or write down things that we already know about taking the time. So take, pause the video and take some time to write those things down. Okay, so this page here, um, if in every single lesson, I do try to give you something that you can refer to when you're um, completing the little mini tasks in the lesson or when you're completing your main task. Um, at the end of the lesson when you go to the grain website to get your sheet. Um, so this is quite a helpful tool, tool that you can use um, today. So if you get a bit stuck, or you want a bit of guidance, or you want to refresh your memory, come back and look at this. So I'm going to talk you through what this means. So this is a, a clock, as you can tell, an analog clock, and it helps you tell the time. So when the minute hand, okay, is on the 12, it is something o'clock. So the minute hand is there and the hour hand is on the one, that's one o'clock. When the minute hand is here on the 12, it's o'clock, something o'clock. When the minute hand is on the um, one, it's five past something. So five past whatever number the, num the hour, the hour um, hand has gone past. Um, number two is 10 minutes past. Number three is quarter past or 15 minutes past. You can see how with each number, you just add on five minutes. Number four is 20 minutes past. Number five is 25 minutes past. Number six, half past, so half the circle. You've gone through half the circle. It's half past whatever the hour hand, whichever number the hour hand has just gone past. Um, we come to seven. So this half of the circle is always something past something. And this half of the circle, number six to 12, is always something something minutes to something. So number seven is 25 minutes to, 
the 25 minutes to the number that our hand is going towards. Number eight is 20 minutes to. Um, number nine is quarter to or 15 minutes to. Uh, number 10 is 10 minutes to. And number 11 is five minutes to. And we come back around again. So if you are feeling um, that you need a bit of assistance um, in the lesson or just to refresh your memory, come back to this page and this will help you help you put you back in the right task. Right, so uh, here's a clock with time on it. Don't worry about AM or PM for now. Just my question is, what is the time of the clock and explain how you know. So simply write down the time is, whatever it is. Um, I know this because, so write those sentences down um, on your uh, book now for the video. So hopefully you would have realized that the time here is eight o'clock. So I would expect something along the lines of, the time on this clock is eight o'clock. I know this because the minute hand is on the 12 and the hour hand is on the eight. This must mean that it, it is eight o'clock. Now try this one, uh, same thing. What is the time on this clock and explain how you know. Pause the video, have a go. Right, so um, the answer to this is time on this clock is a quarter past four or fifteen. Sorry, a quarter past three or 15 minutes past three. I know this because the minute hand is on the three and the hour hand has just passed three. OK, what is the time on this clock and explain how you know? It's the same thing. Um, write out what the time is and explain how you know. So the time on this clock is half past ten. I know this because the minute hand is on the six and the hour hand is has gone just past the number 10. Now, you might be able to guess what the next one is because you can probably see a pattern um, developing here. OK, so what is the time on this clock? Uh, so be a bit careful about this um, and write your answer down. So the time on this clock is a quarter to four. Uh, I know this because the minute hand's on the nine, um, and it's a quarter of a circle left, and the hour hand is going towards the four. The time here is a quarter to four. Uh, now, some of you might have written that the time is 45 minutes past three, which is also correct, because if you counted from the 12 all the way up to here, it would be 45 minutes um, past three o'clock. That would also be correct. So now it's getting a bit more complicated. We're not we're going, we're moving away from a quarter to and a quarter past and a half past and o'clock. What is the time on this clock and explain how you know? The time on this clock is 20 minutes past 10. I know this because the minute hand is pointing at the four, which is five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and the hour hand is just past 10 o'clock. The time on this clock is 20 minutes past 10. Well done if you've got that right. So here are two clocks. What number system do they represent? What is the same and what is different? So take some time just to uh, pause the video and write down what's the same and what is different. So one thing that is definitely the same is the time is the same. It's half past four on this clock and it's half past four on this clock. Uh, the clocks are the same size. The clocks both have 12 numbers on them. Um, the clocks both have an indication as to where the minutes are on this clock and this clock. But the big and the main difference is, is that this clock is using the Hindu Arabic numbers, the system of numbers we use at the moment. And these, this clock is using um, the Roman numerals instead of the 1 to 12. So this, this is the number 1 to 12 using the Roman numerals. And hopefully you'll remember that from your task yesterday. Okay. Um, now, your task here is um, to put the Roman numerals in the correct places on this um, analog clock. Um, so obviously, you're not able to do this interactively on the screen. So if you just draw a circle um, on your page and just write the Roman numerals in, try not to look at the page before. Just try your best um, to uh, try and do as many as you can. Uh, without using the help of the clock before on the first page. Um, if you are stuck, let's have a quick look. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. So here, it would be the 12 would go there. So it would 
go here. Okay. Um, this will be number one on a normal block. So the Roman numeral version of one is this. Uh, it's taking some time to get there. It might be easier for me to just type them in. Uh, let me just move this back to where it was. Uh, if I can. Right, so let's just try and, I think it might be easier to write them in. So hopefully here you would have written I. Here is number two. So I, I. And this will be number three. Number here would be four. I, V. This would be five, which is the V. This would be six, the V in the I. This would be seven, which is a V in the I, I. And this would be eight, which is a V, uh, I, I, I. This is the nine, which would be the I and the X. This is the 10, which is quite simply the X. And this would be 11, which is X and I. So hopefully um, you got those right. If you did, well done. So let's move on to the next page. So what is the time here? Now it says that the time is something. It is something minutes past something, or it could be something minutes to something. So have a go at this um, and see how you get on. So pause the video and fill in those blanks. Right, so the time here is, let's have a look. Compost two is 2.35. Okay, it is 35 minutes past two, which is the same as 25 minutes to three. If you've got that right, well done. If you haven't, don't worry, we've got lots of practice to come. So what is the time here? Pause the video, have a go. So the time here is 10.30. It is half. Okay, so half a circle, past 10. Now let's try the next one. What is the time here? So the time here is something, it is something minutes past something, or it is something past something. I'd be really interested to see how many of you get this right. If you're listening at the beginning, I was going through that, um, you know, that clock that would help you tell the time, you might remember how to do this. So pause the video and have a go. The time is 7.15. It is 15 minutes past seven. It is also referred to as, it is quarter past Seven. So you got that right. Well done. Because remember, 15 minutes past and quarter past are the same thing. So a quarter of this circle is equivalent to 15 minutes past. Right. So what is the time here and how many minutes past is it? Past is it? And what is the number at the end? Pause the video and have a go. So time is 9905 nine, and it is five minutes past nine okay let's see if we have another example to do yes we do so what is the time how many minutes past how many minutes to you know what to do pause the video and have a go so the time here is 10 35 which means that it is 35 minutes past um, 10, which is, is the same as 25 minutes to, our hand is going towards 11 o'clock. So, well done. Um, now, for this one, you have three clocks and you have three times. Um, I can't draw the hands on here. So, what I want you to do is I want you to draw three clocks and then draw these times in. And I'll have a look at your work when you send it in. Okay? Let's pause the video and have a go at that now. So Danny is back to quiz us. Now Danny says that the clock below, this clock here, is showing 40 minutes. That should be past three o'clock. 
Um, now, do you agree with Danny and give reasons for your answer? Um, so pause the video and write down, I agree with Danny because, or I disagree with Danny because. Right, so let's check what Danny is saying. Danny is saying it's 40 minutes past three. So let's first see where the minute hand is. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it is four, the big hand is showing 40 minutes past. But let's see where the hour hand is. Our hand has just gone uh, past three o'clock. So the time here is indeed showing 40 minutes past three o'clock. And it's one of those rare occasions that Danny Dog is actually right. Because I know that often he is wrong, but he does get some things right. So well done um, if you got that right. Good job. Right, so now the time has come to complete your tasks. Don't please don't forget to take a picture um, of your work and send it to us at year three at grange.harrow.sch.uk um, where we love to see your work and see how you're getting on. I've seen some, some spectacular work um, on time last week and this week, so keep the work coming in. Um, and when, to find your task, you need to go to the Grange, 3, Grange website, uh, click onto online learning, click, click onto year three, um, and then the task will be, we'll say, math task um, 12 05 2020, and that's the task we need to complete. If you click onto that, you will be shown this sheet here. So, the task one says read the speech bubbles and then draw the hands on the Roman clock on the Roman numeral clock faces. So, it's similar to what you just did in our main task, just more practice. So you, it just tells you, you know, that our hand is pointing at the nine. So you draw the hour hand there, the bigger hand. The minute hand is pointing to, sorry, the minute hand, minute hand is pointing to the four. The longer hand is at the four. The shorter hand, the hour hand is um, on the nine. And it's asking you to know what time it is. Uh, so that's what it's asking you to do. That's the first main task. Um, task two, I've just gone past it, says... What is the time on each of these clocks? The first thing you need to do is to write down what, the time, what, what time each clock shows. And if you're really, really careful, um, you might need to use a ruler to help you to see where that, where that minute hand is pointing. And it says, what do you notice about the clock faces compared to your class clock? And by class clock, um, I mean a normal analog clock that has numbers 1 to 12. Uh, in the Hindu Arabic system, number system, and not in the Roman numeral system. That gives you a clue as to what the answer might be. And task three um, says, Sana says, on my Roman numeral clock face, the big hand is on the VI, and the little hand is between uh, the IX and the X. What time, what is the time on Sana's clock face? Um, I think the best way to really answer this question would be for you to draw the, the Roman numeral the analog clock, the Roman numerals, and draw out um, what Sana is describing, and that will tell you what time is. And finally, uh, your last task is, here are three clock faces, and you need to match um, the clock face with the correct time. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to go back to my smart board. And if you've completed all that, and I know a lot of you like a challenge, which is amazing to see, um, then please try this. The challenge is, True or false, the time on this clock is 2.52. Now, is that correct or is that incorrect? True or false? Um, don't worry about PM or AM. Just let me know that that clock is showing 2.52. Good luck. Um, hope you enjoy the math lesson today and hope you enjoy the task. And I will speak to you tomorrow with more maths fun. Bye-bye.